Hello and welcome Hackman Gaming is here with you in another video. Today video is about Revenant and how to use Revenant the right way. Alright, so I'm going to today teach you about his abilities. This is not going to be about the build. The next video is going to be about the build of Revenant and the build that's going to be for the end game god mode. I don't think you should like look for a normal build and then figure your way and change this and this. I believe on making one build that can take you anywhere forever just there every time you just put revenant on you can rock everywhere so it's gonna be end game and then we're gonna survive with it tonight in uh, the stream in uh, steel path mod uh, survival so yeah let's open the game and check a revenant kit all right this is mephesto skin if you're wondering this is mephesto skin and this is the tasu skin comes uh, with it all right let's go his abilities, his passive is the shield plunge smashes enemy within 7.5 meters with a hundred damage knockdown shockwave. The first ability, I'm gonna make it simple for you. The first ability is you mark one enemy, that enemy gonna make the other enemies think he's their enemy. So for example, if you mark one enemy, he's, the other enemies will attack him. Okay? And when they attack him, they're gonna have another mark. You can mark seven. So let's say you make the enemies your allies, okay? Seven of these enemies, you can make them your allies. Simple as that, easy, okay? This one, uh, Mesmer skin, this one is you're gonna make energy in front of you, stuns the enemies, and any enemy stunned, you can make him your ally with the first ability, free uh, of energy. Reeve, Reeve is simple. You dash forward, okay? You dash forward, and when you dash into the enemies, you're gonna uh, like you get back uh, shield and health. You restore shield and health when you dash into the uh, enemies. Okay. The ultimate is simple. You roll around like a blade storm, and you're gonna be hitting uh, all the uh, mobs around you. So now all the uh, abilities are affected by this. ability strength, affected by uh, ability range, ability duration, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, especially the efficiency. All right. Some tips, uh, Revenant immune to the magnetic water in the place of Eidolon at night. They throw enemies you can steal damage by Revenant and his allies. Those uh, allies of yours can be dead, so you have to recast the first ability. They throw enemies do not benefit from other enemies buffs while under control. Means when you're controlling those enemies becoming your allies. If the other enemies have some kind of buffs, some sentinel buffing them, your uh, allies from the enemies doesn't uh, get affected with that buffs. Alright, uh, cast throw to enemy that has been stunned by Mesmer skin at no energy cost. So if you uh, stun them, you I told you this already, if they are stunned, you can make them your allies uh, uh, free. Okay, so let's uh, check his uh, abilities. Alright, there we go. Simulates. <clears throat> so this is the uh, enemy. So first ability, you mark one. There you go. You're gonna have, you see the uh, up there, seven. That's the uh, number of how many uh, thralls we have controlling, seven. Now, if you see down, you have countdown like 15, 14, 13, 12, and so on and so on and so on. When that finish, the time finish, all right? When the time finish, you're gonna lose control of those enemies. If they didn't die by then, you're gonna lose control of those enemies. Look at this, done. They turn uh, attacking me. All right, so you need to recast it. You can speed the process instead of waiting them to like uh, become seven. You can just spam the uh, first ability on seven enemies. All right, that's the first ability. The second ability is stunning the enemy. There you go. He's stunned. So now, if I apply the first ability on him, it's gonna be free of uh, energy. All right, there you go. Stunned, and this guy is stunned too. These enemies are uh, stunned. So if I put the first ability, it's going to be uh, free of uh, cost. All right. And if they attack you as well, they're going to be uh, stunned. All right. Now look at this. Uh, if I put the, just the first ability, like in the ground, like this, any one of them going to attack me, going to be stunned as well. See that? Simple as that. So you can, you have to keep casting the first the second ability always recast it if you feeling like you are in danger and so on all right 
So the uh, third ability is you dash on the enemies like this. You're gonna regenerate HP and health, of course, uh, uh, HP, not HP and health, <laughs> HP and uh, shield. All right. All right. Now the ultimate. Let me show the ultimate. The ultimate is straightforward. You press your ultimate and he starts rolling around. The only ability you can use while you are uh, in the uh, ultimate is the third ability. So you can dash when you are in your in your uh, ultimate. All right. So you can go like this, and you can dash, and you can have some control. I mean, it's not like uh, totally uh, dashing forward without any uh, control, as you can see. Uh, Revenant is very, 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 very fun. Uh, Warframe to play with you can take him uh, everywhere defense missions you can take him defense missions you can take him survival you can take him uh, anywhere I wouldn't advise like taking him in spy missions right other any other mission you can just go and take him of course except, and he's not good for the idol on hunt but uh, yeah any other normal mission you can take him survival he's so good he's so tanky like uh, one of the best tanks in the game like top five Alright, I will place him after uh, Nidus maybe rank 2, uh, best tank in the game. So yeah, I mean he's worth getting, he's, he's a bit tough to get. Alright, you get him from the... Uh, uh, you, you have to search for that, you get him from Cetus. It's uh, like his parts from the bounties, there is the story you need to do to activate it with the mask, it's a bit tricky. Uh, let me know guys if you are interested in making a video on how to get Revenant in the comments below So I make a guide about it I mean I will make it in the future of course But if you guys ask like really wanting I can uh, like push the process uh, faster So yeah the next video is gonna be about Revenant uh, survival in mod uh, still no It's gonna be the build the god mode build for the uh, this uh, guy it's gonna be the build, the end game build. It's gonna be with Helmnith as well. Helmnith is optional for you, of course, but I'm gonna give you the maximum, like the end, like top, top class stuff. And then up to you, you wanna helm it or not. That's uh, up to you really. So, and then I'm gonna be stream tonight. I'm gonna to be stream surviving with this bad boy. So yeah, guys, this is uh, Revenant. I am sure you're gonna love this uh, Warframe 100%. It's a very amazing Warframe to play with and very fun. So guys, I wanna say thank you for watching. I wish for you a good day. Be sure to watch the next video about the build. See you in the next video, Tenno. Bye for now.